hour race is the uh, hard hard look lost from over the weekend. Yeah. Both girls say, it, you know, now that's in, way in the rear view mirror. And well, again, uh, what a great run in the fourth quarter to, to yeah. rally back. Well, you spend the whole year preparing to try and win a game like this. And, uh, you know, we lost three overtime games this year where we kind of let things slip away in the uh, fourth quarter in overtime. And um, if, if that meant that we were able to win this game tonight, then it was well worth uh, the price we paid. Um, you know, I thought uh, we got off to a real good start. Um, we had good energy to start, and then Newark made a run at us as we knew they would. That's just the, the way these games have gone over the last million times that we've played. I mean, it's going to be a, a game of runs back and forth, and... Um, you know, fortunately, we withstood that. We kept ourselves in decent position. When Katie Hollis went down with foul trouble in the third quarter, I thought the other kids on the floor just did a superb job. I thought it was just an amazingly good job that they did. And we stayed in the ball game, and I think we actually got the deficit down a point or two going into the fourth. I thought Abby Tosh and Bridget Edmeyer came in, and when Katie was out and, and handled things defensively in the paint, um, you know, Lauren Paver, Marnie Warner, Jacqueline Madden kind of flipped Flipped in and out, kind of did a good job, and Caitlin Phillips is just awesome. She's just an awesome player, and we got on her back on a few occasions tonight. And, um, well, she took the game on her um, shoulders in the first quarter. Well, she's, yeah. she's just such an awesome player. I mean, when, when the All-State voting and stuff comes out, I'll raise my hand two or three times if they'll let me. I mean, I, I just, uh, I, I'd be, you'd be hard-pressed to find a player that did more for their team in a regional championship than she did for us tonight. And, you know, the beautiful thing was, though, that we also had other kids, I thought, doing a lot of things and maybe won't show up in the score uh, book, uh, you know, on the stat page. Um, you know, beyond our, um, you know, our top two scorers, we had 16 points spread around by another five players, which I think is good balance for us. I mean, I mean, we can, if we get that, we're a pretty good basketball team. But Katie seemed well rested. <laughs> Well, you know, and it, Boy, it, it, you know, it didn't help Rayburg, who's an outstanding player, and I'll miss her as a senior, um, who's in foul trouble and, and, you know, maybe couldn't defend like she wanted to either, and we were able to get the ball inside and capitalize a few times and uh, hit just enough free throws there at the end. Um, a little flip-flop now. Somebody, you come back on somebody else now. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, and, and it was a back-and-forth game. You, you're, you know, you're thinking one team has it in hand, and then something crazy would happen, and a bucket would be scored, and uh, we're just real pleased to come out on top and anytime we play Newark uh, I mean the respect I have for what they do is just just there's not enough words to describe that um, you know, I was telling some other people if, if there is a better um, rivalry in small school girls basketball than Hinkley Big Rock and Newark I'd like to know what it is because um, I mean, you can go back for many, many years, and, and just the, the quality of play and the quality of team that's put on the floor by both teams um, e each time is, is just nothing short of amazing. And, you know, I looked, at, well, I, look, I looked in the crowd tonight, and I saw some of the kids from those, both of our state teams, you know, here, and you, you just think back to that. You, you just hope that you can live up to that expectation, and, and I think the kids on the floor did that tonight and just played a quite of a ball game on both sides. And, I, and as Dale so he said, even though we haven't beat him since back in December of 08, all those games, pretty yeah, much of right. a quality, right. darn games. Right. Goes, uh, we're proud to have been associated with yeah. those games. Well, I think, you know, I mean, if you go back over the last 10 games, there's probably been one time that it's been you know, hasn't been, it's been a doubt in the fourth quarter. I mean, I, I think in the Little Ten tournament at our place a couple years ago, we got off to a good start and maintained. But other than that, you're talking not a point to be spared um, over the course of 10 or 15 meetings. That's unbelievable. It really, really is. Um, and, you know, not that the other regionals that we've won haven't been special, but when you when you earn a win like this against a team like that, but to me that's what high school basketball is about. Out. And, you know, the kids and I both know this is one 20 and 30 years from now you'll look back at and say, remember remember winning that regional in 2012 at Indian Creek, having to come back on Newark. And, um, you know, this will go down as, as another just uh, notch in the classic matchups we've had. How many uh, straight regionals is this now? They were just asking me. We um, we did not win in 06. We did in 07. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 would be 6. Awfully good. Well, we're pleased. I mean, like I said, this is what it's about. You can put two 20-plus wins teams on the floor that are, that are local teams battling. I, I just, um, 
we just feel very fortunate to come out and now we're going to go out on Tuesday and uh, see what we can do against uh, the state's number one ranked team Anawan. We'll just we'll, we'll get prepared and see what we can do. I mean